Good day to each and everyone. My name is Melvin Bibigora, a PhD student of by Sergio Ballesteros in the subject of EDU 513. So this day, I will discuss about the enhancing personal productivity and managing stress. Okay? So what is personal productivity? So what is the personal productivity and how do you improve it? So, in a simple way, you might be used thinking about uh, productivity in terms of your team, but what about your own productivity? Okay, so whether you're a manager, a team member, or freelancer, there are many simple things you can do to get more out of your day. So, in that ed, as a teacher, so we have our own personal productivity. Okay, sabi dyan, why is personal productivity is important? So, personal productivity is completing the actions that move you closer to accomplishing your goals in a manner that brings balance and ease into your life. It's all about completing an action cycle. So, in this time of pandemic, in COVID-19, so, has turned the world of work upside down. So, businesses have had to be uh, super agile by putting their um, services, reorganizing their workforce, and making a rapid move to flexible or remote working. And then, this has increased the focus on productivity. So, many organizations uh, around the world, um, whether people will still be as productive with working remotely. So, in fact, um, uh, more or less 78% Business leaders think hybrid in home working will harm productivity because of the uh, effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, but while the jury is still out, so the signs are so far are pretty good. Several studies have noted an uptick in productivity rather than a fall. So, in one survey, so from 70%, uh, it increased into 94%. Um, the productivity because of um, many strategies to amend or to address the concern with regards to pandemic. Okay, so as an organization focus on measuring employees productivity and team collaboration. So it is very important with uh, each team the collaboration of each member for the success and progress of the um, concerned issues and many um the target objectives of the team okay so so the productivity uh, focuses to the uh, the cycle of any company okay and then how do i measure my personal productivity okay so calculate your actual time spent on productive tasks subtract all the non-important activities and distractions that occurred in this time blocks so your personal productivity ratio, so you so your hours spent on productive tasks divided by total hours. So this is the computation uh, to improve the um uh, the measurement in of personal productivity. Okay, so there are simple equation or the, or ito yung um simple um measure, measurement to conduct or to measure the personal productivity. Okay, so the amount of value you create divided by the number of hours you work. A person with high uh, productivity will create uh, the same amount of value for an organization in a shorter time or create a more significant amount of value in the same amount of time. So for example, uh, you gain many trainings, webinars nowadays, so expected uh, you will uh, perform uh, productive uh, work or outcome based uh, depending on your the trainings and webinars attended okay and then the next one how do i maximize my, my personal productivity okay so there are there are um, top 10 tips for switching your brain into higher gear okay so number one uh, think about what's holding you back so the number one, uh, do, do you feel um, distracted uh, during your work? 
overwhelmed or bored at work. So being aware of your uh, workload. So for example, uh, you are overload of your uh, teaching load. And your feelings uh, is the first step to understanding and improving your productivity. So that is the meaning or the definition for the number one. So you will uh, throw back uh, with regards with, with your situation. Okay. So, and then the number two, visualize what productive days look like for you. Okay. So uh, the definition for that uh, number two is try to picture the thought the thoughts and um, feelings you associate with being uh, productive. Okay, so where are you? What sort of mindset are you in? What does are your working pattern look like? So have your um, plan or strategies to focus uh, of your um, objective to your work or plan. Okay, so there are um, visualization. Okay, so number three, create stepping stones to try, to try and achieve this ideal day. So don't assume, okay? So don't assume that you can achieve the vision in your head just by wishing for it. And don't try to, to do everything once. Instead, uh, you work out with strategy to make it happen, okay? Then go through it, it by step by step, okay? So uh, say for example, by... Uh, um, it cannot be a um, work ng yung madalian or or orada kasi it mas maganda yung pinaplano okay it can be planned okay so number four set yourself a productivity plan to do list for each day so the definition for that so using a productivity planner so there are a planner to make your uh, activity um, productive and then um, approach the day more productively okay so every day you must have the think or the positive vibes okay and then it also helps you you visualize your um, priorities so if extra work um, arises you'll instantly know where it is slots into your schedule so if there are some um, uh, additional uh, workloads so you must ano, uh, chill or you must uh, give the priority or the top priority okay so do not be uh, uh, you must work in a balance or work smart for that kind uh, of, of any task you will perform okay so number five get the big stuff uh, out of the way early okay so it's there at us looming over you okay so be be sure to uh, tackle so tackle it is as early as you can in the day or week okay so yung gagawin po um, ngayon so yung mga gagawin po uh, bukas wag po nang ipagkabukas kung pwede naman gawin, gawin po ngayong araw na ito so parang ganun siya okay so getting your most stressful job then can help you much more positive and then about approaching the other things on your to-do list so okay so number six break, uh, break big tasks into smaller ones okay so sabi dyan if you feel overwhelmed and looking for the um, uh, share skill of a project try breaking it down into a lot of smaller responsibilities once you start uh, and uh, taking little things of of your uh, list of your task or any concern of your um, problem you'll feel like you're making a progress towards completing the bigger goal okay himay himay lang hinay hinay lang okay kasi hindi naman pwedeng gawin siya nang uh, buo one pakiyawan di ba so little by little you can finish your task Number seven, Ay, okay, sorry. Number seven, reward yourself with small incentives. Okay, ten number seven, reward yourself with smaller incentives. And then, sabi jan, for every task you tick of your to do list, give yourself a treat. Okay, so whether it's a ten minute screen break, 
a drink or a few minutes scrolling your social media feed, you'll reach much more incentivized to complete your work quicker. Something is waiting for you at the end. So sometimes, uh, actually for example, uh, it's a lunch break or margin the time, snack time, uh, give some time to uh, use your, uh, for example, your mobile phones or your laptop uh, to um, to view if you have some messages or anything that uh, uh, will you know, uh, will interact with yourself. For example, uh, you will watch um, anything that you can uh, refresh yourself. Okay, so you know, reward yourself. Number eight, make sure you take your schedules break okay so taking a break helps with everything from concentration to reducing stress so while you might um, think working through lunch is the key to getting your work finished you might be slowing yourself down so it, it is necessary to each uh, employee to conduct a break okay so sometimes um, if you will not perform in, in any break, you will be stressed. Okay? So, can, you can also, ano po, um, and nowadays, uh, because of the pandemic and DepEd, we are conducting the AWA or the Alternative Work Arrangement uh, for for us to, to be able to um, follow the uh, safety protocols of the IATF. And then, so, the, the other companies uh, have the uh, the maximizing of the number of hours okay so whenever form po yan yan okay, so number nine delegate or automate task uh, if and when you can so ang ibig sila po ng number nine when you find yourself with too much uh, on your plate so for example lang yan so don't be a martyr, okay? So instead, find someone to help you or better yet, find a way to let technology do the work for you. Like using a uh, bot to send and collect survey result, for example. So say for example, um, um, if you are um, knowledgeable also for, the, for technology, do not use yung mano-mano. Limbawa, um, mag encode ka, do not, um, uh, wag nang isulat, wag nang mag martyr kasi meron naman dyan yung ginagamit na Excel to easily to configure on, or compute by the use of the technology. Okay? So, the traditional way has the obsolete. Wala na po yan. So, let us uh, focus for the uh, innovation nowadays, especially the use of the use of technology okay oh, number 10 track your productivity over time and look for trends so example jan things that reg regularly trip you up so keep track of the hours you spend and be honest about recording your pro productive and non-productive so, so for example uh, give some um you have your own diary what are the things that you are uh, accomplished and not accomplished so that the other things that you are not accomplished will be done by the other day okay so yun po yung example ng mga 10 tips of switching your brain into a higher gear so then and the next one um, so what techniques can I use to improve my personal productivity further so there are some techniques to improve the personality the personality or the personal productivity for for the human okay in each individual okay so there are techniques to improve personal productivity so there are nine techniques so the number one is the smart method so the smart method is very common to us as a teacher as an educator okay so the smart uh, stands for the specific measurable measurable achievable or attainable, relevant, and time-bound. So first defined by, uh, it was defined by Peter, ano, 
dito yung smart na ito at uh, mostly by Peter Drucker so this method is very uh, useful by step by step um, consequence to help people okay to help people um, set realistic goals and then then achieve by working in a consistent or straightforward way so ito yung smart method na yan so um, as a teacher so all of us uh, it is applicable to use the smart method okay kasi kasi it is it is very common for us but even though the five uh, letters uh, the smart uh, it is very sometimes it is very hard to implement because of the um, concern problem and the priority so there are some case na we need to sacrifice or some things or anything that you must uh, set aside because we are only a person tao lang tayo hindi tayo perfecto so gana so pero train natin ginagawa natin how to be an proactive person we act as professional Okay, so yan po yung smart method. The next one, the Pomodoro Technique. So the Pomodoro Technique, um, uh, it, it is uh, derived from, ano, from Francisco Cirelius. Time management techniques follow. Follows a simple system of working in 25 minutes burst with regular breaks in between these short springs. It's named after the Italian word for tomato. Because Cyril used tomato shape egg timer to create the technique while he was a university student. So, ito yung ginamit ni uh, Francisco Cyril, yung Pomodoro technique. So, sa, sa kanya yung nagkaroon yan. Okay? So, the next one, uh, ito yung uh, for it, uh, it, the frog technique. So, the next one, the Moscow method. Because I have, uh, I have pala the orientation with this um, techniques, so I will show you. I think when po yung mga sir and ma'am. So that is what it po. Uh, yun po. I have here a presentation. Watch. Yeah, it works. Okay, so pala ito kayo nyo guys. Ito pala yun po. Okay. So, I um uh, I on I also uh, create a presentation with regards to the um the smart method. So it's specific, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. Okay, it is uh, defined. It was already defined, and then the Pomodoro technique. So the decide on the. Decide on the task to be done. Set the time or the timer in between the minutes. Work on the task until the timer rings. So, meron lang um, um, allowance time. Take a short 5 minute, five minute break or 5 minutes break. And then take a 15 to 30 minute break. So, ganun yung pumudaro technique. So, ito naman yung personal kanban. So, yung personal kanban. So, Kanban is a simple but effective project management technique. So all you need are some are some sticky notes. So for example, the sticky notes here to yung to do, doing, and done. Okay, so ito yung, for example, this day will you will do this activity and yung doing or the going the the it is in process and then what are the things that you have successfully or the accomplishment of that day. So, ganyan yung personal kanban. So, in progress, to do, so in progress and then, by moving the notes left to right across the table, you will have to visualize how you, um, how you're completing tasks while getting a full overview, overview of your um, other responsibilities of the day. So, ganyan po yung um, personal kanban. The next one is the eat the frog technique. So, the, the, the eat the frog technique 
So there are, so for example, in this um, illustration, the task create the paddle, ito yung task mismo, and then yung, yung task siya, mayroon naman siya mayroon sa task. For example, um, specific siya to general. Okay? So, ganun yung sa if the frog technique. So, a method inspired by Mark Twain's code. Eat a live frog first. Things in the morning and nothing worse will happen to you in the rest of the day. So, yun yung, yun yung siya. Um, quotation ni Mark Twain about sa eat the frog technique. So, sabi ni, um, this uh, method framed this productivity hack around one simple concept. Get the most challenging task. Diba? Challenging task and then uh, first thing in the morning and the rest of the day will much more straightforward. So, yun yung bukod sa specific na sinabi ako later on. So, dapat yung pinaka main uh, na uh, concern mo, you will work it from the morning and then the rest will work it the rest of the day. Nung natitirang uh, araw, gagawin mo po siya. Sunod. Number five. The Moscow method. So, the Moscow method. So, meron dyan yung must, yung end, must have. So, ito yung Moscow pri prioritization. Prioritization. Must have. S should have. C could have. And W will not have. So, ito naman yung must have. Non-negotiable product needs that are mandatory for the team. And then, the should have important or the initiatives that are not vital but add significant value. And then, yung could have, nice to have initiatives that will have a smaller impact if left out. And then, the W or the will not have initiatives that are not a pri priority for this specific time frame. Okay, the Bosco method, uh, this acronym stands for the must have, should have, could have, and would have. Okay, so, the simple method but of putting your task into hierarchy, okay, into hierarchy of most, of most, and less to our gen. So, must ticks are the ones you should focus on right, out, right away, so, so, ganun po, hierarchy, pinaka-importante, so, pinaka a uh, list priority so yun po yung the most strong method and then the, the, the systemist method the, this is the systemist method so the illustration show this yung uh, uh, the the weekly review for the task you must you must perform in, in each day okay so for example dyan the 0 to 10 minutes the Declutter and mind dump, 10 to 20 minutes nga, for example, the reflection, reflection on the past week, and then the 20 to 35 minutes, get current on goals and projects, and then 35 to 50 minutes, plan the work, or plan the week ahead, so yung what are the plans, okay, na kailang accomplish this week, and then 50 to 60 minutes, you will think bigger, okay, outside the box, you will think everything uh, about your concern that the uh, that week will be um, uh, facing on so the, the systemist method so the brain child of a computer science student so the systemist method combines with the to do list app to streamline multiple workflows while also helping to balance other responsibilities on the side so there are some uh, concern with the systemist method that this method is very helpful especially if you are um, um, yung nagpa-plan ka in, an, in a way na uh, systematically arrange yung ano yung, yung oras mo is no, yung mayroong pressure sa bawat oras mo ito dapat sa isang oras magkawa ko to sa gitong oras, ito yung mga gagawin ko. Parang inuuras lang yung sarili mo. Okay, so parang ganun yung ang tsura ng systemist method. And then number seven, the getting things done. So meron dyan yung capture, clarify, and then the organize, review, and engage. So, 
this getting things done so it will uh, ginawa po ito ni David Allen's so this technique works by treating your mind like an email inbox in designating tasks in five categories ito nga yung capture, clarify, organize, review, and engage so nakikita dyan yung capture for example yung capture dyan ang ibig sabihin, ang ibig sabihin dyan so capture anything that crosses your mind nothing is too big or small so these items go directly into your inbox so these simple steps um, for the intense for the productive life and productive day of your uh, life and your into into the company itself okay and then number eight zen to dan the zen to dan naman it, it's the habits of zen to dan master so this zen to dan or the ctd takes by uh, david uh, by also by uh, david allen's or the otd Sintodan, one step further. So building on the behavior changes necessary to adapt to GTD, getting to Dan to ZTD. So meron ano po transition mula sa GTD to ZTD. Okay, so removes the need for people to pause and think about their task, and instead uh, encourage them to push on. It much. Uh, more is useful for people who prefer action rather than reflection. So, ito naman yung Zen to that. So, there are 10, uh, 10, 10 method, Zen to that method, and focusing the habits. So, nandiyan na, yung mga capture RDS, take in notes in a notebook to your don't toast trap. So, ito yung pasang sunod, hanggang sa ensure to reduce your task in goals to essentials. So, yan yung pasunusod niya. Okay. And the last one, ito yung don't break the chain. Okay, sabi dyan, so that don't break the chain, um, also known as the science Sinfield Method by Jerry. Uh, by Jerry in uh, um, by Jerry himself thinks to have had nothing to do with it. So don't break the chain. It teaches the users to think of every item. Think of their to-do list as another step towards building a, a better version of themselves in the future. It's a great um, way to incentivize people who value personal progress. Yung don't break the chain. So say for example, if you have a plan for the month, so you have you have you have the planner for example in this date so you have the for example this week will accomplish this day or you will accomplish this this mini task so that task must be um, focusing up to accomplish it successfully and then the other week you will perform another task okay so dapat ang pinaka main objective na don't break the chain hindi mo sabi mo mag Papa iba iba or transition yung ginagawa. You have your focus on the um, activity or anything or any task you will perform for that month. So, hindi pa iba hindi pa iba iba yung mga ginagawa. So, yun po yung sa don't break the, the chain. Okay, so so the, the uh, those are the techniques to improve the personal productivity. Okay, so and then so that's all for my reports with regards to enhancing personal productivity and managing stress. So thank you po Sir Joe and thank you po uh, classmates, Sir and Ma'am. Thank you so much po. God bless po sa inyong lahat. Thank you and mabuhay po. Maraming salamat po. Ingat and bye po. Bye-bye. Thank you po.